Hey everybody, this is Mike with Free Roaming Hiker, and in this video I'm telling you everything you need to know about Granite Canyon in Grand Teton National Park. Now I've hiked all over Granite Canyon for years and years, so I've built up plenty of experience, and here's how I'm going to share everything I know with you so you can get the most out of your hikes in the canyon. This is going to include some great photo ops, uh, best places to camp, and much more. Now Granite Canyon can be accessed from either the main trailhead, the Granite Canyon Trailhead along the Moose Wilson Road in Grand Teton National Park, or it can be also accessed from the Valley Trail, which extends out from Teton Village and Jackson Hole Mountain Ski Resort. And technically, you could also reach it from Phelps Lake, but that will add a pretty significant amount of miles to each way in and out, so most people tend to avoid that one. From the Granite Canyon Trailhead, it is about a mile, a mile and a half. Whereas if you come from Teton Village, it's about two miles from Teton Village, but technically about three miles from the start of the Valley Trail. It is also accessible from the tram where you can drop into Upper Granite Canyon. And many people take this option so they can access Marion Lake more easily, as well as making a really scenic loop down Granite Canyon and then back to Teton Village or by shuttling a car to the Granite Canyon Trailhead. Likewise, you can also hike up Granite Canyon and all the way up to the tram where you will get a free ride down if you hike up. Of course, the scenery is much better going up Granite Canyon, but at the same time, of course, it's a lot easier going down the canyon. So the main Granite Canyon trail is over six miles, and there's a few different forks that create a lot of options for you to explore. For one, the Teton Crest Trail passes through Upper Granite Canyon, exploring a lot of the beautiful alpine scenery above treeline there. But for the time being, we're going to look at heading up Granite Canyon from the Valley Trail. And the trail begins down here, mostly forested, where you quickly reach the Lower Granite Canyon camping zone. Now, each campsite is marked with a small sign, and you will need a permit from Grand Teton National Park if you want to occupy any campsite overnight. The campground itself extends for a few miles as the canyon begins to gain in elevation. And for the most part, it's not terribly steep, but there are a few steep sections scattered throughout that do make it overall strenuous. There's also a few clearings up the canyon, which make for some really great photo ops. And likewise, you get some really fantastic and beautiful forest scenes as well with some thick cottonwoods and the creek rushing along the side. You'll leave the lower Granite Canyon camping zone right before the first trail junction. And this is nearly five miles in, at which point you reach the Middle Fork Trail. And this is used to get directly to the tram. If you continue up the main trail, you'll enter the North Fork Camping Zone, where you get some really big views of the upper portions of the canyon. At 5.7 miles in, you'll reach another junction with the Open Canyon Trail, which takes you up to the Mount Hunt Divide, where you can drop down into Open Canyon as well. The trail continues up the North Fork of Granite Creek to the Teton Crest Trail, and along this way, the views are dominated by Housetop Mountain to the west and Rendezvous Mountain to the south. And in a nutshell, that is the main Granite Canyon Trail, but of course, there's lots of other forks and other areas to discuss. So first is the Open Canyon Trail that we just mentioned. The trail begins stretching over four miles up to the north rim of the Granite Canyon, up to the Mount Hunt Divide. And there is another camping zone through much of that climb. Throughout its stretch, it's pretty forested here and there with plenty of breaks in the trees and quite a bit of elevation change. Along the way, you get some occasional great views of Rendezvous Mountain and Lower Granite Canyon. And then you ultimately reach the Mount Hunt Divide at 9,698 feet above sea level, give or take. From here, it drops down into Open Canyon, and this actually makes for a great loop thanks to the Valley Trail, which connects the two. Just below the divide in Open Canyon, you reach the Open Canyon Camping Zone in case you wanted to push a little bit farther into Open Canyon and wanted to backpack in. It's important to note, though, that neither of these camping zones have specific campsites, but rather you just look for cozy places to set up camp where likely many people already have. So moving on to the Middle Fork Trail, this climbs up along the Middle Fork of Granite Creek. From here, you also quickly enter the Middle South Fork Camping Zone. And this is another camping zone without specific sites. You just find a good place that looks cozy. As you start to near tree line, this will connect with the Rendezvous Mountain Trail as well as the Middle Fork Cutoff Trail higher up. 
Now the Rendezvous Mountain Trail is a pretty strenuous climb up. Most are taking it down and so we'll look at it that way. This trail is just over three and a half miles and from the tram, the trail drops down into upper Granite Canyon along tree line. It switchbacks down through forest and into the back of the canyon and it climbs up a ridge to get a great photo op overlooking lower Granite Canyon. From here, it drops farther into Upper Granite Canyon and switchbacks down into the Middle South Fork camping zone. The trail winds around to the Middle Fork Trail and the Middle Fork Cutoff Trails, where it's about three quarters of a mile to the Teton Crest Trail. From here, if you take the Teton Crest Trail south, you'll head to the back of Granite Canyon to a divide with nearby Moose Canyon. Now, this is outside the park boundary, and if you do go that far, you will see a sign marking the park boundary with the Bridger Teton National Forest and Jetta. Jedediah Smith Wilderness. If you head right from that junction, you'll pass over the Middle Fork and up to the divide between the Middle and the North Forks of Granite Creek. And on top of this divide is another trail for the Game Creek Pass Trail. You will leave the camping zone shortly after embarking on the trail. And this trail is rarely traveled and you will need some expert route finding skills to follow the trail because with it being so seldom traveled, there's not a lot of evidence of the trail there. It is about a mile and a half up to the divide and if you can make it, you're rewarded with some incredible views of the surrounding Tetons. Continuing back on the Teton Crest Trail, the trail will drop steeply down into the North Fork. And once you're down in the North Fork, the trail climbs back up steeply to Marion Lake. In total, to get to Marion Lake, it's about 6.5 miles from the tram. And again, there's another small campground near the lake. About three quarters of a mile up from Marion Lake, the Teton Crest Trail climbs out of Upper Granite Canyon and Grand Teton National Park. Since you will be entering the Jedediah Smith Wilderness, you can camp for free. And this is what's known as the Fox Creek Pass area. So as you can see, there's a lot of options for different trails in Granite Canyon with all the different scenery and trails that connect to other areas. Some of these options are you can take Granite Canyon to the tram or vice versa. You can do the tram to Marion Lake and or Fox Creek Pass if you didn't get a permit for Marion Lake. And then of course, there's also the Granite to Open Canyon Loop. And finally, of course, there is the Teton Crest Trail, which will pass through all the beautiful upper portions of Granite Canyon. Now, your best photo ops are going to be pretty much anything around Marion Lake. Of course, it's the only lake in Granite Canyon, and it's got a stunning blue color surrounded by big cliffs, and it makes for a really beautiful alpine setting. Likewise, up above, heading out toward Fox Creek Pass from the park boundary gives you plenty of great overviews of Granite Canyon and as well as the divide between the north and the middle forks. These both get you up above all the lower parts of the canyon, even the upper parts of the canyon, and give you some great overlooks and vistas with the surrounding terrain. And then of course, coming down from the Rendezvous Mountain Trail, there's plenty of beautiful views to be found along there. Personally, I love paralleling the creek in Lower Granite Canyon that gives you a lot of great intimate forest opportunities and some really beautiful opportunities with rushing water and the mountains surrounding it. So I hope that helps you out. And if you have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you're looking for some more information, there's a few links that link back to freeroaminghiker.com that you can check out in more detail. And thank you for watching and happy trails.